Hello and welcome to the Mecha Bricks to Unreal Engine series. In this episode, we'll add weapons to our game. So first, we'll go back to Mecha Bricks, link in the description, and then we'll go down to the Weapons tab down here. We'll just scroll until we find weapons, which will be in the minifigure weapons. Click on that. Once that loads up, you'll see there's lots of different options. You can click the plus to show more. And I'm just going to go with a sword and shield. So I'm going to pick this one. And then for the shield, I'm going to just do the round one. And I'm just going to space these out. And for the color, I'm just going to go to metallic. And then I'll just do metal. For some of these models, they have two colors. So you just want to come up to here and check the one you want to change. So now you can change that. I'm just going to make it the same color. But you could make it a different color. And then once you got that all set up, we're just going to come up to file, export. I'm doing OBJ unless you're doing the Blender add-on for animations or something. And I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now. I export, and then in downloads, I'm going to find the folder we just downloaded. Right click and extract all. And then we're going to go into Blender and I'm just going to do general. All right, and then I'm just going to delete these, go up to file, import, and then we're going to go to OBJ. And mine is in my downloads. I have it bookmarked here. You can also just go up to here. And there it is right there. Click on the OBJ, import, and you can see it's right there. Don't scale it or anything, just keep it the same size. We'll scale it when we import it. And we're going to go to Material Preview. And then I'm going to select both of these and do Auto Smooth. And then we're going to make sure the material is added correctly. So we're going to go up to the crosshair, drag across, click up here, click S for shader, then N. And we're just going to scroll. And it looks like it's the right color. And we're just going to give it some metallic, keep the roughness like 0.1. And I think I actually want the shield to be wooden. So I'm just going to duplicate this, just call it wood. And I just want the exact color. So I'm just going to come to this website. There's a link in the description. I'm just going to scroll down until I can find the brown. All right, and I'm just going to do dark brown. So I'll just copy this. And then in here, I'll go to hex and just paste that in. And that looks pretty dark. We're just going to take off the metallic and give those specular. And then we'll make this look better in Unreal Engine. But for now, that looks good and how I want it. And then we're just going to fix up the meshes so there's less vertices. So just click A. We're just going to get over the camera, actually. And then we're just going to click and shift click. And then tab and A to select everything, and then it go up to F3 and do type tries to quads, and then click M by distance, and I'm just going to turn this up, and I think 0.15 works pretty good, and then once we've done that, I'm going to go to 3 and alt click, and I'm going to add a material and just make that wood and a sign. And then if you wanted to add any details, like make these look like gems or something, you could click L and just hover over it. And with those selected, you can add a sign, just make a new one. I'm actually just gonna make it that and then duplicate it, just call it gem. Okay, and then with that set up, I'm just gonna change this to metal quick so it makes more sense in Unreal Engine. So now that we've set up the materials and fixed up the mesh, we just need to make sure that the origins are all set to the correct places. I'm just going to set this one. I'm going to go to 2, and then Alt, click, and then Shift S, cursor to selected, go back to tab, and then what you want to do is set origin, and you want to set it to the 3D cursor, and then I'm just going to select this, cursor to world origin, make sure it's selected, selection to cursor, I'm just going to select it all, come up to file, export, and we're going to do FPX. And I have mine already set up. I go to UE. We're just doing selected objects, mesh, scaling it down to 0 0.05, and make sure that these settings are all the same. And I'm just going to download these to my downloads. I'm just going to call it sword and shield, and then export. And then over in our project, we're just going to create a new folder. We're going to call it weapons. So open that up, import, and go to downloads. Select that, open it up, and just make sure that all of these are the same. 
and then just open these up, make sure that it all looks good. That's looking good. All right, and now we're just going to fix up these materials so they look a lot better. So I'm just gonna drag these in here so I can see it easier. And then I'm just gonna open this one and then control click, open those two as well. And I'm gonna go to content, characters, Lego guy, materials. And I'm just gonna take any one of these. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this one, just copy everything. And then I'm gonna go to metal, paste that, just line that up, we don't need that one. And this is going to go into roughness. This goes into metallic and this goes into normal. And we'll click apply and you'll see that we're not really seeing the scratches and fingerprints. And that's because we need to do some UV editing. So click this, click A, and then we're just going to Smart UV Project. We're going to do the same for the shield, Smart UV Project. And then we're just going to select everything, export to FBX, Lego to UE, make sure they're all the same, 0.05. And then we're just going to export it to downloads as the exact same name. And then if we come to content, weapons, I'm just going to click these and we want to re-import and now you can see that the UVs are correct and you can see the scratches and the fingerprints which just makes it look a little bit more like Legos and now we just need to do that for these other ones. So just come in here, paste, delete that and we're going to plug that into roughness, this into normal and then lastly for the wood, same thing, just paste that, we don't need these, plug that into roughness, to normal, apply and now you can see that we have some weapons and then just leading into the next tutorial we're going to get these set up in blueprints so that we can use them in our attack system. So in weapons, I'm just going to make a blueprint. I want to do actor. I'm just going to call this BP sword 01. And then once I finish this, I'm just going to duplicate it and replace it with the shield. So we have to do less work. So I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to close all of these so they're not in the way. So with that opened up, we just want to add a box collision and we'll need that later. And then a static mesh. And then over here in the static mesh, we're just going to type in sword. And there it is. And then we don't want to change the scale. We just want to move this box. And we just want to make sure they're both attached to the root. Otherwise, it'll mess up. And if it's parented, it won't, it'll won't. it be harder to move. So you just want to move this up to the center. And then scale. And I always like to go just a tiny bit bigger than the blade. And then we want to just duplicate this. Control, copy, BP shield a one and we just want to open this up exactly the same except we're just going to type in shield it's right there so i'll just click it and then we just need to adjust box collision and we'll see if it like that and then i'll just delete these and drag in the blueprints instead and then to add it to our character just real quick we're going to go to content third person blueprints we just want to come in here and then to add these to our characters, just real quick, we're gonna go to characters, Lego guy, and we just wanna select the skeleton, open that up. And we want the hand. So in his left hand, we want him to have a shield. And in his right hand, we're gonna have a sword. So for this, let's start with his right hand. Just right click, and then we want to add socket. And I'm just gonna call this sword hand. And then just to see how it looks, we're going to add preview asset, and I'm just going to type in sword. There we go. And then I'm just going to make sure this is rotated the right way. And we want to scale this down by a lot. All right, so I found these values to work. And then we're going to just save this real quick. And then we're going to come over to the left arm, I mean left hand. And then we'll do the same thing, add socket. I'm just going to rename this to shield hand and then we'll add a preview which will be the shield all right and i found these values to work scale this 0.2 and then you can see the rest and when you play you'll see it doesn't show up we just need to go into the blueprint so third person blueprints open that up and for now we're just going to do event begin play change it up in the next episode but just so you can see how it looks, we're just going to get a sequence and plug that in so that we can have a different code going off at event to begin play. All right, and then just dragging out for this, I just set this up real quick. You want to get a spawn actor. And for the class, we're going to start with sword. So you just want to type that in and select it. And then you want to drag off of the mesh. And then dragging off of that, you want to type in get socket transform. 
and we're just going to drag that into the spawn transform and then dragging out of in socket name we just want to promote to variable and i'm going to name this actually to sword hand and compiling for this we're just going to go back to the skeleton and for the sword hand we want to get the exact name of it so we're just going to copy i just clicked f2 and then going back to the skeleton we want the exact socket name so i'm going to click on that f2 or you can come up here and just copy that and then in here we're just going to paste that in there there we go and so that's in there as well just makes it nice and easy and then dragging off the span actor we want to attach actor to component turn value into target and we want the mesh as well just plug that into parent and socket name you're just going to drag that out of the variables get that and then drag it into there and then we want to snap to target for all of these make sure this is rts world and then when we compile and play and if yours is being weird like i'm trying to go forward right now when it's not letting me and it's being very weird you might want to go to the sword to select the mesh and you want to go down to collision and for presets we're just going to do no collision compile and now it should be working so now there's no weird collision and you can see that he's holding the sword so we're just going to do the same quick for the shield i'm just gonna set the collision to no collision and then back to the third person blueprint we're just going to select this copy and paste and just drag that down plug that in and then the other th only things we're going to change is the name and up here so we're going to type in shield just like that and we're going to come down here copy and paste and we're going to call this shield hand socket and over in the skeleton we want the shield hand i'm going to copy that and then and then just drag the shield hand socket over that and it'll change do the same over here compile and then we can edit it there we go shield hand shield hand and then everything else stays the same and now you can see that we have our sword and shield in the hand and for the walking and idle animations you might actually go back to Mixamo, and then once you go back into Mixamo, it should be the same in here. If it's not there, you can do what we did in the other episodes. Upload, select character file, and then go back and select that. So once you have that imported, we just want to type sword and shield, and you'll see their animation specifically for sword and shield. So we're just going to get into idle. I'm going to download that without skin. And then I also want to walk, and I'm just going to do this one. Make sure to click in place. I think it's a little too slow, so I'm just gonna bump the up drive a little bit. And that's good for me. We'll get attacking animations in the next episode. So just download that without skin. And then back in Unreal Engine, we're going to go to characters, Lego guy, and I'm going to import the ones we just downloaded and make sure it's on the Lego guy skeleton. And for animation, export to time, import all. We're just gonna switch out the animations. So we're gonna go to third person. So we're gonna open the Lego NMBP, and then also the Lego Blend Space. All right, and I actually just want to delete all of those, and then drag in the idle, all the way at the beginning, and then just drag in the block. And now you can see that looks a lot better because he's holding it correctly. It's not down on the side. And if you want to change how he's holding it, you can come back to the Lego guy, go to preview, use specific animation, and I'm just going to type a walk, sword and shield walk. I'm just going to pause that right there. And then with the shield hand, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, bring it down, and that looks better. So now if we go to the anim BP, let's go all the way to the anim graph, locomotion, idle, and then we want to get the sword and shield idle. Just replace that. And then the walk and run. That's all set up in there, so we're good. And then if you do alt P, you can play. And you can see the walking is working, but the idle is still not doing it. And the way to fix that is just to make sure that both of these are saved and compiled. And then when you go back into it, it should work. So there you see, he's doing the sword and shield animation and you walk and he's going. And we don't need to change the jump because the shield isn't getting in the way. So that should work. Although you could go back and get the specific jumping animations and do the same thing we did before. So there's this one. I'm just gonna show you super quick. And then right click, import. I'm just gonna name this 01 and then copy paste. So we have 01, 02, 03. And then I just rename those again the idle, land, and jump up. So we're just gonna start with jump up. So when it jumps up, you just wanna crop that right there. There we go. And then the land, you wanna go from the bottom all the way there. There we go, now it's landing. 
and then the idle we want to come up and then we just want to get one frame so we're going to crop crop and we need to crop even more just keep going and there we go and then you can come up to the bp you want to go to jump when you want to come up to jump up drag that there and then fall loop that'll be the jumping idle and then the land pile that play and then you can see it works that's all for today's episode of the mecha bricks to unreal engine series in the next episode we will add a combat system for the sword and shield thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video